Hey everybody, welcome back to Nika Brothers. We're out here in Florida looking at some more flooded cars. A lot of stuff has been sold, but there's still a lot of stuff left. And look to your left, boom, we got some saltwater supercars. Let's go check out this Lamborghini. All right, guys, so this thing's a 2012 Lamborghini. Man, it is huge. Look at the rotors, look at the rims. Definitely a supercar worth over $300,000. It has a very high water line, but hey, what if it actually isn't flooded? That would be amazing. You can't even tell what's going on with all the dust down there. It looks like it's been abandoned for a while, but it's actually this driveway crushed concrete they do or whatever it is in this Florida driveway. They, they just make such a dusty storm. Everything's covered. Whew. Uh, is it worth on, on taking the, no, the door apart? I could, I could see sand, I could see mold. They weren't lying. This thing is definitely flooded. But hey, still a lot of great parts on there. Beautiful car. Look how low it is to the ground. That's crazy. Well, it depends on the price it goes for, but for parts, I don't think it's worth it. Well, to fix it. But let's wow. keep going and keep looking for good cars. Yeah. So just working down the yard. Honestly, guys, you could be out here for hours. There's so many inventory, so many cars going on, but first thing we're gonna look for is if it's a run and drive. So we're looking for that D. Obviously this one doesn't, probably high water line. So honestly not worth for us to mess with because we do want to actually get something and flip it. So just gonna go down. All right, here's a run and drive Cadillac. Looking pretty good. Go ahead and scan it and then see if it has a title. That'll be the step two to make sure that is actually for sale. It's a run and drive, shouldn't be too bad. The seats are moving. Nice. This smells like a smoker. Let me type it in real quick. Sometimes scanning doesn't work. Six, seven, eight. But other than that, it looks pretty clean inside. It's got power. Our buddy Oleg was looking for an SUV. Okay, it's a future sale, it's a 2018 Cadillac. Run and drive, 34,000 miles on it. I mean, no lights on the dash. Pretty nice. It's really nice. Let's see if I could open it. One second. So this one definitely looks like a good one. We'll still check the oil and transmission, but hey, the seats are moving. Doesn't smell bad inside. It smells like a little bit of smoke but that has nothing to do with the water flood damage. So it says run and drive, but sometimes it doesn't really mean it is a run and drive. Sometimes they sit for a while and the starters go bad with that salt water corrosion, but we're gonna definitely gonna write it down, keep an eye on it, and maybe drive a Cadillac home one day. All right, guys, so we're just walking through the yard and check this out. It looks like, I don't even know what is growing on there. Is that like, oh, it smells so bad, dude. Wow. And it must have been, look, you got seashells in it. Seashells. This is. Coil, 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 or whatever. Yeah, wow. it was under the water for how long? It was, this is literally. You can smell it. Smell it so bad. It was under there, the salt water this stuff. This is like an eco car. There. Well, look at the water line on it. Where's the water line? Yeah, that makes sense. It probably stood like this in the sand and pull it out. This is definitely pretty bad for the water damage. That's pretty crazy. Look at that. It's just like, and it smells. Wow. Looking for the ones that are running drive and not so bad. We don't want some marine. All right, we got ourselves a Camaro, just spotted, running drive. A ZL1. ZL1. It's like pretty an older sweet. one, what we had. Convertible. Convertible. There's power. Smells great. Pop the hood. Seats are working. 
First, I didn't think it was, but that was just because it was maxed out. That one's very nice. Ooh. Supercharger. Supercharged. What? Oil looks really good. Should I start it, Ivan? Yeah. Automatic. Wow. This is nice. Radio's working. It says service airbag and the check engine light is on. So probably got some water, but the seats are working. Check the other seats out. You can add it to the list. This isn't bad. We'll just check out this side. Yep, this seat isn't working. Just like our Mustang, driver's seat is working, passenger seat isn't working. But, I mean, honestly, that's sick. Heads up display, put in drive, didn't feel like it shifted too hard. Backup camera is working, got backup sensors. Add it to the list, this isn't bad. I'll give it a seven out of 10. Because seven seat, out of 10. The seat isn't working. So let's, uh, let's add it to the list. Keep add it to the list. Definitely a keeper. Let's keep going. Don't see nothing, don't see nothing. Nothing's running dry. We've got a Jeep, let's check it out. Salt life, that makes sense. That's why you're here. And non-running drive. Okay. Top down, Mercedes. Ooh, look at that green Porsche. Where? Ooh, with the wing Ooh, and everything. Go. All right, let's go. Ooh, what about that really old truck right there? And what about that Lamborghini? What about that other Porsche? Ooh, Ferrari. Until you go look at it. How about the yellow one, Ivan? No, none of them are running drive. You know I like yellow. Oh yeah, I do. Look at this thing, guys. So this is a C8R edition. C8R? What does that mean? C8R edition. I don't even know what that means. Water line's pretty high. Yeah. So Z51. So you can tell by the brake caliper, the performance package. And then the engine's in the back, so it's not a convertible. You can see the engine. Yep. Kind of. You can kind of see the engine. And I see sand all over the engine. So this thing went swimming. Water line is high. Key in the office because this thing's worth money but yeah, I don't know. Definitely not gonna go for this one. And you got another one right next to it. Look I at mean, the water line on this one. This one's really low. This one's pretty low. Also not a convertible, but I could imagine that bad. A little bit of sand. Pretty good looking though. It's not bad. Look, it's right next to exotics. That means it's, yeah. it's an exotic, right? It has to be. Sports cars, these are supercars, exotics. Next to Ferrari. I wouldn't say it looks any worse. California. Pure sale, but not a run and drive. None of these are. You have the GT3? Yeah, these are super expensive, right? RS, yeah. 1,000 miles. Wow. Barely probably broken in. $100,000 car, easily. Probably more. Dang. Look at that spoiler. Dang. This is pretty, that, that feels pretty legit. But it is flooded pretty good. What about the interior? How does it look? Not bad, actually. The interior doesn't look bad. Nobody even opened the doors. Man, I would drive this home if it was the run and drive, but it's not, and it's probably for a good reason. A lot of electronics going on in these newer cars. Yeah, I don't really want to take it apart. You know, take the window out, look at it, be good to go. But um, we're almost there, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So here we have another C8. This one's looking a lot cleaner. I guess less people drive around here. Looks pretty good. Nice, kind of fancy looking color. Kind of off. Keys in the office. I don't see no water line. And I think the doors are even open. Yep. Key. So the seats are moving. Wow. That's a good sign. There's no key, but maybe. So it says no key. That's a pretty good sign. It smells good inside. 
It is posted. So it is posted as a run and drive. So, who knows? Put on the list, looks like a good looking car. Maybe we can ask for the key. So check out this Bugatti. I don't know if this is a real one or a fake one. It's kind of cool. Ooh. I thought that's, that's where the engine is. Michael, there's no engine in this thing. No engine? Unless it's in the back. It is a kit car. Uh, there's a kit car, yeah. So this probably has, it does have an engine, but this is the, this is the Volkswagen. Engine's in the back. Yeah, so it's got the little Volkswagen sign right there. Kind of cool. So here we have a nice little G-Wagon. The water line is looking really low. Opens like a truck. Think it works? Nope. But very simple. I mean, it looks really good from the outside, but the inside's kind of dated. Yeah, the bull bars everywhere. Really nice looking. Probably like really heavy duty. What do you guys think? It'd be cool to fix one of these. Hooey guys, we are exhausted checking out all these cars. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of good deals out there, but there's a lot of bad deals as well. As we were able to find some that were running dry, they still had really bad transmission issues. They felt like oil was bad, and there's a lot of things that could go wrong, even though it says run and drive. So I highly recommend do your homework, call ahead, check it out, get some legwork, go out there and check out these flooded cars. But we are beat. We're gonna call it a day and head home because that's enough for one time. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. See you next time.